curated. It will be the responsibility of the CSC. It doesn't really need to call us to hand over. It is its responsibility to hand over now to the new board once it's inaugurated. So everything is documented. Another round of applause. As we go forward, we should translate some of the work that has been done by EPOA into templates that we can use to move forward. Templates for recruitment, templates for assessment, and review as we go forward. So I'm inviting all of us, the Kenya National Commission on Human Rights, the Kenya Human Rights Commission, Amnesty International, all of you are good colleagues. Let's sit at the table and get this job done. Let's walk away from the idea of talking <laughs> at each other at press conferences. We have an equal stake in this country. This is our country. Let's all work together and deliver an improved and better uh, police environment so that we don't spend time, you know, blaming the police all the time and criticizing the police and talking about the things they have not done. Sometimes at the expense of the things they have done, the great things they have done, we are actually entering the second phase of fairly radical changes in the manner in which we police the country. Some of those are changes that will require all of us to support them. And I ask all of us to understand. And let us exercise a sense of decency. In some cases, we actually need to exercise common sense. We have to rationalize, for example, as I've said several times before, the way we deploy our police resources in the country. A country of our size, with the needs that we have, cannot afford to do some of the things we do, which are sheer madness. There is no county government official anywhere in this country who needs 26 police officers to guard them. There is no one, governor or whatever, you don't need 26 police officers to guard you. We can't move a police station to your office. 